Egypt's military seeks to restore stability. Egypt's military rulers are expected on Tuesday to step up efforts to restore stability, hoping a promise of a swift transition to democracy will prevent a new flare-up in the protests which forced out Hosni Mubarak. Facing a wave of strikes, the military rulers held talks on Monday with young activists who were at the forefront of the arresting which ousted President Mubarak on Friday. British Foreign Secretary William Hick also said Prime Minister Amit Shafiq had let him know that he would reshuffle his cabinet in the coming week to bring in opposition figures. Using their newfound freedom of expression and protest, workers on Monday rally in Cairo and other cities to complain about low pay and poor working conditions. Protests, sit-ins and strikes have occurred at state-owned institutions across Egypt, including the stock exchange, textile and steel firms, media groups, the postal services and railways. Pro-democracy leaders also say Egyptians will demonstrate again if their demands for radical change are not met. They plan a big victory march on Friday to celebrate the revolution. Tuesday will be a national holiday to mark the Prophet Muhammad's birthday. The ruling higher military council of workers on Monday to return to work in communique number no. 5 read out on state television a military spokesman said noble Egyptians see that death strikes at this delicate time is to negative result the military rulers have promised free and fair elections suspended the constitution and dissolved Parliament. On Monday, the appointed retired just Tariq Obishi, respected in legal circles for his independent views to head a committee set up to propose constitutional changes. But the military has given no timetable for elections beyond saying it would be in charge for a temporary period of six months or until the end of elections to the upper and lower houses of parliament and presidential elections. Existing registered parties are mostly small, weak and fragmented. The Islamist Muslim Brotherhood, which under now suspended constitution, could not form a party. Maybe the best organized group, but its true popularity has yet to be tested. All the parties need at least a year for an election, said one politician who struggled to found a party under Mubarak. If parliamentary elections happen now, the only party ready to go into elections are the Muslim Brotherhood, said Abu Ilayla Mahdi, who broke away from the Brotherhood in the 1990s.